Ilimu the Blue Turtle by Kimo Armitage. Illustrated by Scott Kanishiro. Every year, thousands of baby turtles climb out of their sandy nests and make their way to the ocean. This year, out popped another baby turtle, but this one was blue. The tiny blue turtle opened its big eyes, shook the sand off its head, and started to make its way to the ocean. When all the other turtles saw the blue turtle, they started to laugh. They pointed their flippers at the poor turtle and teased him. No one likes me, the blue turtle said. He dunked his head under the surf and rolled out to sea. Growing up in the sea, Limu the blue turtle would meet other turtles, but after looking at Limu, the other turtles would laugh and swim away. No one wants to be my friend, Limu said. But growing up was not all bad, Limu would body surf in the big waves, and he would chase colorful fishes into the coral. One day, when he was eating his favorite seaweed off some rocks, he heard someone crying. When Limu looked up, he saw a little opaihai. Why are you crying? asked Limu. I am so sad. I miss my sister who lives far away, cried the little opaihai. I can't take you, said the blue turtle. I can swim really fast and we will be there in no time. You are such a nice turtle, said the opaihai. My name is Nani. My name is Limu. Hop on my back and we'll leave right now, said the blue turtle. The opaihai jumped on Limu's back. She hanged on tight as the blue turtle swam under the water. They swam near the surface and they swam in the deep part of the water. They laughed with a family of seals playing in the water. All of a sudden, the water became black. Nani was very scared. What is it, Limu? <laughs> she cried. When Limu looked up, he saw that he had bumped into a big whale. The whale was crying. What's wrong? Limu asked. Swimming in the deep water near a sunken ship, and I got a big piece of wood stuck in my flipper. The whale cried, It hurts so much. Maybe I can help, said Limu. Limu bit onto the piece of wood and pulled with all his might. He pulled and pulled and pulled. You can do it, yelled Nani. Suddenly, whoop, the wood came out. Oh, can I ever thank you? asked the whale. My flipper is as good as new. Glad I could help. My name is Limu, the blue turtle said. My name is Jonah, replied the whale. You are a good-hearted turtle, Limu. Thanks again. After a day of traveling, the blue turtle and the little opaihai could see the beautiful bay where Lani's sister lived. Many different kinds of colorful fish lived in the reef. Limu looked at all the different types of seaweed. There was so much food to eat. Where's my sister's home? Cried Nani. I'm so happy. How can I ever thank you, Limu? I am happy that I could help, said Limu. They pulled closer to the water's edge where Nani's sister lived. Nani let out a big yell. Lani saw Nani and cried tears of joy, for she was happy to see her sister too. Nani jumped off Limu's back and hugged her sister. Thank you so much, Limu, said Lani. You are a great friend to my sister and me. I am so glad to see Nani. You have a big heart. Then she told Limu, Please eat some seaweed. Limu ate and ate. He had never seen so many different types of seaweed. He was so busy eating that he did not see how far he had drifted from the rocky shore. All of a sudden, he saw two beady eyes looking at him. 
Then he saw a lot of beady eyes and big dark shapes. And Limu became very afraid. You look good, good and e. So one of the dark shapes. When I moved closer, Limu saw that it was a shark. You will make a delicious lunch, said another shark. We have never eaten a blue turtle before. Just then, a big black shadow covered Limu. The big black shadow started to flip the sharks high into the sky. One by one, the other sharks were afraid and swam away as fast as they could. It looked like you needed some help, Limu, said the whale. Oh, thank you, Jonah, said Limu. You saved my life. That's what friends are for. See you later, Limu, said the whale as he swam away. Limu swam back to Lonnie's home. He was so happy because he was in a beautiful place with his friends, and he knew that no matter what he looked like on the outside, others liked him because of the good turtle he was on the inside.